Okay, so this week on Total Divas, a decent amount of it focused on uh, on Nikki living with John. They're both currently injured at the time. John's house, whenever they show up, is absolutely immaculate. The way you keep a home immaculate is you have a very strict set of guidelines and rules. There are no candles. There are no pictures. There's nothing personal at all. It's this weird, cold, sterile sort of house. And that's how he likes it. He even has two hampers. One for gym clothes, one for non-gym clothes. And it seems whenever Nikki is turning around, he's like, whoa, um, workout clothes? Yeah. They go in this hamper. Oh, you made me dinner. That's nice. I see you made a mess. You're not going to water on the floor, are you? And it's not until he loses a game of chess, which either they're great at chess because it came down to like three pieces on the board before he lost, but he kind of realized, yeah, um, maybe I'm kind of harsh with you about the rules. We'll, we'll iron that out. I'll, I'll make some changes. You know, it's going to take a while. Which was, you know, that, that was, it was nice to see that. It was nice to see John have his <clears throat> bizarre robotic side. Eve Marie got to pose for a action figure where she mentioned to make the boobs larger so it would sell more. Trinity and John. Trinity's dad came to town. She never used to see her dad. Dad kind of began to crash with them for quite some time. Now their apartment is one bedroom. So one bedroom, three people? Yeah. Maybe some amount of friction. You can tell that John likes to have fun, but he wants to go home and just relax. That wasn't happening. So that was an interesting little little tidbit there from those two. And Vinny and Ariana. For some strange reason, I just... Uh, the, these two kind of wear on me a little bit. You know, Ariana is doing a, has a singing career on the side. That's cool. You know, if you want to do other things beyond wrestling, that makes sense. You know, for a diva, your your lifespan is shorter compared to a, a male wrestler. Just because if anything you want to do differently within your life, it's going to you know, really shorten the amount of time you have to be an active and ring competitor. Makes sense. Also, with the E, you kind of have an expiration date based upon how many, year, how many years of age you are. It sounds horrible, but Vince is kind of a stickler currently that the divas are of a certain age and less. <clears throat> so she worked on her rap career a little bit and decided maybe Vinny should try out to be in the ring. He's got a unique look. He's a big dude. But he's got no cardio. If you've ever gone to a wrestling gym and watched them work, Yeah, I'm, 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 having been in the ring a little bit, the amount of cardio, the amount of just physical wear and tear, there's a reason why nobody just wakes up one day and goes, I'm be a professional wrestler, and then by the weekend that they're in the WWE. It is a long, it is a strenuous process. It is your body getting slowly broken down and then building back up to like, at the level of tolerance when it comes to taking your front bumps and your back bumps. You know, as well as... So it's hitting the ropes and not getting the weird bruises and the burrs and all the weird, you know, since the ropes are somewhat granular, so you can grab onto them, not getting all the, you know, the scratches and the weird marks. If you remember tough enough, they showed them hitting the ropes and they looked at their shirts and they just had these big, just red, like, scratch marks all up and down their arms from hitting the ropes. So Vinny tried it, I gotta give him credit. I mean, it's, it is an incredibly tough thing to do. The amount of cardio you need is ridiculous. If you've read any wrestler's books, you will know that they mention, you know, being like a big strong guy in a really great shape, and after like four minutes, you just suck in wind. Re watching the interviews of Tony Atlas, Tony Atlas, huge built guy, and he would talk about how, you know, after a few minutes, you know, the person who eats bologna and farts all day long just beating the crap out of him in the ring because he is just so winded. So my hand is off to Vinny for giving it a shot. You know, Bill DeMont hit him with a lot of patience and was like, you know, you're not cut out for this. Pretty much when you make it to the WWE, the, uh, the, the performance center, 
It is there to help shave off the edges. It's really not there to take you from the raw lump of iron that you are and transform you into the superstar. It's to take what's already there, what's already been forged, and just shave off the edges and get it nice and finely polished. It's actually overall a pretty interesting episode of Total Divas. Very little inside the ring, but enough that was tangential to the ring that it worked out pretty well.